The metrics roughness and fluctuation strength rate the amount of modulation present in sound signals. Let's create some modulated time signals here in Time Signal Calculator to see what they sound like. I'm going to Signal Generation here, Generate Sine Wave. I'm going to generate a 500 hertz sine wave sampled at 48,000 times per second. That's 500. And now I'm going to generate a second sine tone in the same manner, except I will generate it at 504 hertz with the same sampling rate as before. And now I'll hit calculate and I can view these signals. And if I look at the detailed view of these signals, I can see if I zoom in enough that there's a point where the time signals are out of phase and as we scroll along in time eventually the two sine waves become in phase and then scroll along enough in time and they will become out of phase so let's see what happens when we sum these two sine waves together and we'll view the sum here and we can see that indeed as we go along in time there's points where they cancel and there are also points where they almost double in amplitude. If we back out a little bit and we look over one second, you may remember we had 500 and 504 hertz. That's a difference of four hertz. And we can see that over one second, there are exactly four modulations in the signal. Now let's listen to these. We'll start by listening to one of the original tones. And when we listen to it, it's a nice, pure, single tone. And now we'll listen to the modulated tone. A little bit of a difference. Now let's look at some other examples. Here we have two electric motors. One of these motors has a problem and therefore lugs or makes a modulated sound. We'll listen to the two of them. That's without modulation or no lugging sound. Here's the second motor with a lugging sound. We can see that the fluctuation strength for the motor with lugging is a lot higher than the motor without lugging. Here we have two exhaust systems. One of them has a lot of modulation in it. The other one does not. We'll take a listen in this area and see if we can hear the differences. This just has a few harmonics. and hence more modulation. In this case, we can see the roughness is a lot higher for the recording with the higher number of harmonics. Thus, the sound is more modulated. If we were trying to make a sporty car, we would consider maybe including more harmonics to get this uh, throaty or modulated exhaust note compared to the smoother car.